Hey everyone, greetings from Moldova, my name is Irina, I'm an English teacher and in today's short video I would like to give you a quick overview of tools and techniques I use to drill, to practice vocabulary with my students. First one, uh, I call it Pictionary and it's inspired by a well-known American show. You need to explain your word or phrase to your partner through some imagery. So you can draw, but you cannot talk, you cannot use words. And just to make it more engaging, you could time this activity. Another one, you also need a partner and it's called half a crossword. For example, uh, you are a manager and uh, you have a regular uh, regular meeting with your employee and uh, in this meeting you want to explain uh, your, uh, your attention about work of your employee. You uh, want to uh, mention some plans and some uh, week of your employee. Pluses and minuses, good sides and weak sides. Sounds like feedback. Yes, yes? yes. feedback. Farrell that makes uh, someone strong. Okay, S power strength. Noun. Strength. Strength. Uh, do you know how to say weak is an adjective? What would be the noun? Weakness. Yes, so weakness and strength. Mm -hmm. Students have to complete a crossword by working with a partner. They take, uh, take it in turns to explain their words. And for the teacher to create it, it's very easy. Introduce your word, press enter, the word is added to the word list. You can preview and print it in PDF format. If you work online, you can just make a screenshot and share it with your students. Download here and see the completed version. And this is how it looks in PDF format. Vocab.today. And it has the same feature, half a crossword functions the same way so you just introduce your list of words the program automatically customizes them and arranges them in a crossword and you have your crossword done the student has to ask the partner the question like what's number four across and the student B has to explain what is number four across giving definition, using it in a sentence, or creating a situation uh, using this word so that the first student guesses what is this word. Engaging and interactive. And if you're interested in such kind of activities, you can also check the website and see what other things you can do with your students online in a no time. The second variant to practice and revise vocabulary or use them in a meaningful context would be picture story. Uh, you can go to Google and type bootstrap and you will get a range of interesting stories in pictures. So you provide the picture to your student. They have a list of words that they want to practice. And the task is to use at least, so specify how many words you would like the student to use in the story, at least five words from the list to describe what what is happening in the picture. When she when they saw her walking out from the water, she was all in mud, in petrol, in mm -hmm. dirt. Because that was after the big disaster in the Mexican Gulf, <laughs> when you remember uh, British petrolo Petroleum oil spill, they didn't have technologies at the cutting edge of... Uh, they didn't have cutting edge technology. Technologies mm -hmm. to, to, to collect this petrol. Yeah to clean the area. And one more activity that I can suggest for you to use with your students and practice the words is story cubes 
or story dice and you can find uh, an app shake it the cubes arrange you can send the screenshot to your students and they will have to make up a story using the pictures they have and let's say at least three four expressions from the word list that were new for them enjoy teaching and enlarge your vocabulary thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if it was useful see you in the next episode